how good a roasted potato Hasselbacks. What it is, is thin incisions into the potato, so you've got lots of surface area for loads of flavour to go into the potato. It also makes it super crisp, but if you can do it with a potato, why can't you do it with carrots? So I'm going to show you my carrot version of a Hasselback. I'll add loads of flavour and then tie it all together with a delicious rocket and basil dip. Right, I've preheated my oven and now for the Hasselback technique. This is the safest way to do it. Grab yourself two wooden spoons, head to tail like this, and then we're going to place our carrots that have been peeled between it. So you've got the stability there. This is what you want because it's the safest way to hassle back. Grab a sharp knife and then very carefully we're going to cut those incisions in. Now, the closer you get it, obviously, the more flavour we're going to get into the carrot. So just take your time doing this. And I think it's much easier to do with the tip of the knife because we're going about three quarters of the way through the carrot. And this is another reason why the wooden spoons are fantastic. So once you get the hang of it, you can go a little faster. Just be really careful with your fingers and then work your way down the carrot. Now, like I said, you can do this with potatoes. That's the most common way to do it, carrots. But other vegetables like sweet potato work really, really well. All right, that's looking good. I've done a few here, so you need about five to six carrots for this recipe. I'll add a splash of oil to the pan. We'll add the carrots and coat them in the oil. I'll also add the spices. So I have a combination of smoked paprika, and some cumin. And I just love dried oregano, so we're just going to add a little sprinkle of oregano. We need to season this, so a good pinch of salt. And if you like, some freshly cracked pepper. Grab some tongs and we'll just coat that in that lovely spiced oil. And then just wait for a sizzle. We just want to seal off these carrots. Then it goes into the oven and we're going to cook them for about 30 minutes or until the carrots are just tender. You don't want them to be too hard or too soft. So keep an eye on them. It really depends on how large the carrots are. Hasselback carrots have come out of the oven. They smell so good with all those toasted spices. And while they're still piping hot, I love to squeeze over some lemon. You don't want to be adding lemon to this when they cook because all of that beautiful fresh flavour will go. So right at the end, hit it with the juice. Ooh. And we're ready to plate up. Now I'm going to be using this rocket and basil pesto, a perfect pairing. And we'll grab a big spoon. And because the colour contrast is so dramatic, go all out, use the whole tub of the pesto. We'll place that into the centre of the plate. And you can see all the little speckles of almond there. Spread that to the side. That's going to be a beautiful bed for our carrots. So we'll grab our carrots and just be really careful not to break the Hasselbacks. So just lift them and you can top to tail them. Look at the colours. Pop a few on the top. Last little one, just go there. And because there are almonds throughout that rocket and basil pesto, I thought, why not finish off with some more? So just a little over the top. And to tie it all together, some extra virgin olive oil. That's a gorgeous side dish using the Hasselback technique. This is gluten-free, dairy-free. Give it a go. Carrots, they never look so good.